Here's a problem. How do you represent a set of all integers from 1 to 5 including both? Let's try doing this in the roster form. So the way we do this is we use brackets, we use curly brackets and then we put in the answer for this question. We have 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 because we're including both 1 and 5. So we have 1 and 5 and they're all separated by commas. So pretty neat 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is the set of all integers. But how do you do this one? How do you write the set of all real numbers from 1 to 5 including both? Recall that real numbers are not just integers. They're everything in between as well. They're all rational numbers and irrational numbers. So we have infinite numbers between 1 to 5 that are real numbers. How do you start writing them down? You can put in the brackets and you can start writing the numbers. You can put in 1 as your starting point. But what's the next number? Is it 1.000001 or is it 1.000001? What's the next one? Is it 1.2? How do you write infinite points? Well, there is a way and that's called intervals. This is what we're going to do. We're going to do away with the curly brackets and we're introducing new brackets and we're going to call them square brackets. So you start with a square bracket and you end with a square bracket and inside this, You'll put your starting point, which is 1, and you'll put your ending point, which is 5, and you'll separate both of them with a comma. That's it. You have your brackets. These are called closed brackets or square brackets. This is your starting point. This is your ending point, And this is your comma. This is it. That's all we need to do to represent infinite points starting from 1 and ending at 5. And that's not it. You can even visualize this on the number line. This is how you do it. You draw the number line, you put in the points. So your starting point is one. So you circle one and then your ending point is five. You circle that as well and you join both of them. One to five. And because we're including both one and five, don't forget to fill these circles. Okay, let's do one more example. We have the set of all real numbers from one to five, including both that's one to five. How do you write the set of all real numbers from 1 to 5, excluding both? How do we represent this? Well, this is also a set of infinite points, but the only difference here is we are not including 1 and 5. The answer again is intervals. For this case, we are going to use curved brackets. And that's going to be the only difference. The starting point remains the same, that's 1. The ending point remains the same, that's 5. And we have a comma. This curved bracket means that we are going to take all the points from 1 to 5, but we're not going to include 1 or 5. So this is your curved bracket. We also call it open bracket. Then you have your starting point, then you have your ending point, and then you have your comma. And we can draw this one as well on the number line. Let's do that. It's the same setup. We start with 1 and we end at 5 and we connect both of them 1 to 5. But the only difference is these circles are now open. These circles are not filled. Don't fill these circles. When you don't want a point to be included, don't fill the circle. So now we have seen both the cases when we're including both the points and when we are excluding both the points. And we can even mix and match. Look at this one. We have the set of all real numbers from one to five, including both using the closed brackets. And we have the set of all real numbers from one to five, excluding both using the open brackets or the curved brackets. We can also have the set of all real numbers from 1 to 5. Let's say we include 1 but exclude 5. How do we do this? Well, we are including 1, so we'll use the square bracket for 1. And we're excluding 5, so we'll use the curved bracket for 5. This set will have all real numbers from 1 to 5. It will also have 1, but it will not have 5. And you can visualize this one as well. So here we go. We'll have one as filled circle. We have five as not a filled circle and we'll connect both of them. Let's summarize. We have this set of all real numbers from one to five, including both. This is how we plotted on the number line. And this is what it means algebraically. We're looking for a number X, which is greater than or equal to one and less than or equal to five. When we don't include one and five, we use these curve brackets. This is how we visualize it. We have these circles that are not filled. And this is how you write it algebraically. We're looking for an X that is between one and five, 
is greater than 1 and less than 5 notice that this is the strict inequality this is greater than not greater than or equal to so we're not including 1 and we're not including 5 this one means we include 1 and not 5 so 1 has a filled circle 5 does not have a filled circle and here our x is greater than or equal to 1 and less than 5 finishing it off with this one we have 1 not included and 5 included. Open bracket for 1, close bracket for 5. This is how we'll visualize it. 1 will be an open circle. It's not filled. 5 will be a filled circle. And that's how you write it. 1 less than x less than equal to 5. Now let's practice what we have learned. Write the following as intervals. And write the following in set builder form. Take a minute. Pause the video. Okay. So let's do this together. We have this one as x where x belongs to all real numbers and x satisfies this thing, this inequality. Here we have x greater than minus 4 and less than or equal to 6. So we're looking for all real numbers between minus 4 and 6 and we're including 6 but we're not including minus 4. So open bracket for minus 4 and close bracket for 6. So minus 4 and 6, open bracket for minus 4 and close bracket for 6. Let's look at the next one. The numbers are minus 12 and minus 10 and we're not including both. So open brackets for both of them, minus 12 and minus 10. The next one has zero included and seven not included. So close bracket for zero, open bracket for seven. Next one has three and four and both of them are included. So close bracket for both of them, three and four. Let's look at the next four. Write the following in the set builder form. So we basically given the answer, we're going to write the question. So the question is, we're looking for all x, such that x belongs to the set of real numbers, and x is between minus 3 and 0, where we're not including either of them. So the inequalities will be strict. It will be minus 3 less than x less than 0. The next one has 6 and 12, and we're including both of them. So everything remains the same. x is between 6 and 12, and we're including both of them. So this is what we have. 6 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 12. Next one is 6 and 12, where 6 is not included and 12 is included. So 6 is not included and 12 is included. And lastly, we have minus 23 to 5, where minus 23 is included and 5 is not included. So minus 23 is included and 5 not included. And that's it. We have learned how to represent sets as intervals and we've also seen a way to visualize them as well.